back in week four. The Eagles dominated their first matchup against the Commanders. Can Washington get revenge? Find out next on EA Sports. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full... defense out to go to work here sensational a week ago in the victory and the one we'll be watching is this man at corner and he's been a key reason why this defense is ranked as the number one unit in the nfl his ability to be in the right place nearly all the time and make big plays is a big reason why the second year man from Alabama it's Brian Robinson and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up you look at this Eagle defense they really played well in that win last week against Miami yeah they just held him to a field goal so to them that was an almost complete performance because you know when you really shut someone out that's complete and that's pretty darn good isn't it and he's gonna lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 so now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Here's Brissett. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The Philly defense back onto the field. They lead 7-0. Trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. play fake. Here's Brissad. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, a run with Gibson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Robinson up the middle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. Yeah, they held them completely out of the end zone, just held them to a field goal. So they're not just hoping for a repeat here. They're hoping to do it even better. A shutout is their goal. Brissett sets to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Play fake, Brissett. Incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They go play action with Brissett. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. Stout 
well done. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Throwing, Brissett. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brandon Graham able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. Incredible to Graham, so long a key face of the Eagles defense, came off serious injury and had a career-high 11 sacks last year. The Eagles, just the fourth team ever with 70 sacks in a season. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter down from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it with a third down and long coming up. To throw Brissett. And that is incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. The Eagles defensive unit back out there. Their guys have the lead here in this first half. And they'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. First down, Brissett. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Brissett now on second down. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Now second and nine. Now Brissett. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. 
Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to prove. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer. Here. And the Eagles are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. The Philly defense back onto the field. They've got the upper hand in terms of field position as this drive starts inside the offense's 10-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers... that they might get hit with a screen. Maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. The Eagles defensive unit back out there. They've had the upper hand so far this first half of play, working with a good lead already as they look to defend this first down. Brissett now. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. This is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. 
and it's the Cowboys on top as they play the second quarter. Tony Pollard with a touchdown run. From there, we'll head up to Indy to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Robert Woods, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Aaron Rodgers, a touchdown pass there. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be... The Philly defense back onto the field. They'll have to defend the short field here as this drive begins with a first and ten. A first down throw for Brissett. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 14, first down, Commanders. First and 10 at the 24 yard line. On play action, Brissett. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Third down and six. Brissett. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Hey, kill, kill. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Commanders have got it back to within a score. The Eagles defensive unit back out there. They hold the lead here in this third quarter, but every drive important in a one-score game as this one begins first and ten here. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football and averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach? When I... And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Philly defense back onto the field. They, you might remember, forced a safety last time they were out there, so they're playing with some confidence now as this drive begins with a first down. Hey, 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 kill, kill. On first and ten, Brissett. Throw right side complete to Dotson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Play action now. Brissett looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
as a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Was trying to find Jahan Dotson, and that takes us from second to third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Brissett. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here we go. This is fourth down. Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Commanders went for it, but they cannot pick up the first. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. defensive unit back out there they've been terrific all game long have not let this offense get on track and they try to close this one out here in the fourth here's Brissett toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Under 90 seconds to go, here's second and 10. Now Brissett. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Brissett. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, 75 yards. And the Commanders get a bit closer. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So for Philadelphia, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Washington, things are kind of getting ugly as they drop to 1-7 now on the year. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots.